Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And today is day 14 of our fitness challenge. We are halfway through this month, almost within a couple of days. This month has flown by. And um, I wanna know how you all are doing, those that are doing this challenge with me first. Let me know down in the comments what you're doing as your activity. A lot of you are doing this challenge with me and a lot of us are walking. That is like my favorite thing to do. I have been doing some floor exercises, some weight resistance, a little bit of weight resistance and some stretching and that kind of thing, but definitely have increased my activities since I started this in June. And a lot of you are walking with me. A lot of you are swimming. I can't wait until this coming weekend. We are going up north for nine days. It's going to be so exciting. And I'm hoping that the weather is going to be warm enough where I can get in the water and do a little swimming. I love exercising in the water. I love swimming and just being active in the water, just doing lots of fun stuff, kayaking. And I did buy a paddleboard of my own and I am going to be working on that all week. And so the last time I did pedal boarding, there is a video on this YouTube channel of me attempting my first time pedal boarding. I did okay, I fell in the water. I was able to stand up on it and go a little bit. So I'm so excited about getting up there and trying to do that. I wanna get out in the mornings when the water's calm and there's no boats out and do it then. A lot of you are going to the gym. So let me know down in the comments how you're doing with your workouts. And so today I am in my office. I feel so professional sitting in here in this office. I have a little ring light and everything. I'm working on the settings on this ring light. So I don't know if it's gonna be actually bright enough as um, I usually film in my living room, living room in front of the big window and I don't have to add any light, but in here I have to add light. So this is something new. I'm here filming today. I have everything set up and I thought I would try, you know, filming practice on you guys. I am getting ready to film some videos for my coaching program. I'm gonna have different packages that I offer. I also will be creating a digital package for those who wanna go that route where you could just purchase some videos, you'll get my e-cookbook, you'll get um, some handouts and that kind of thing that will help you along and emailing included, emailing back and forth with me included. So today I am actually filming one of the videos that I'm going to put into that digital um, package. So I just wanted to go ahead and film this video first so I can watch it back and see how it's going to be. Um, I It is uh, only 8.30 in the morning. I started early this morning doing a lot of stuff. I went out in the yard and I planted a few little things in the yard. I grew some herbs in my little greenhouses in the house and um, I wanted to plant them out in the yard because they were just getting so big and starting to get root bound in the pots. So I planted those this morning and watered some plants in that outside. And I've already, you know, come in here and set all this up and I feel like it's much later than 8.30, but it is not. I'm gonna be showing you what I eat today on a clean keto diet, staying under 20 total carbs. I already had black coffee this morning. I do intermittent fasting. I probably won't eat until around 11 o'clock. Usually I get hungry around 11 or 12, depending on how busy I am. I'll let you know then when I eat. I have not walked yet today. I will go out for a walk as soon as I'm done filming this video, get some fresh air. And so I'll let you know about that too, how long I go. I've been increasing my time. I've been walking two miles every day instead of one mile. Sometimes when I have a busy day, I split the time and walk a mile in the morning and a mile in the evening. Just however, you know, life is going that day, I just do whatever necessary to get out and move. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I'm going to check this video and see how it turned out. And I will be back when I eat my first meal. See you then. My breakfast looks a lot like yesterday's breakfast. It is scrambled eggs and bacon grease with the other half of the ribeye that I had in the refrigerator. These eggs are farm fresh eggs. They were laid yesterday. My husband, Ed, brought these eggs home to me. He brought me home six eggs. And when he brings me home farm fresh eggs, it's like he went to Jared, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this breakfast. I also have some coffee, Nespresso, Malazio. I put in a scoop of my Further Foods collagen powder in here, a little bit of heavy cream, 
and this is my first meal. And so I have some video editing to do. I'll be back in a little bit. Still hanging out in my office. It is quarter to two and I still haven't gone out for my walk. I'm getting ready to do that in a few minutes because I just need a break and I think some fresh air would do me good. But I've been sitting here at my desk pretty much all day. I mean, I've got up and done a few things here and there because I can't sit for very long in one spot. But I was thinking about something that I'm going to challenge myself to do and I wanted to share it with you guys because it has to do with food. Um, well, it was about, I don't know, maybe a year and a half or so ago, we bought our first chunk of cow. We ended up buying a quarter of a cow. And when we went to pick it up, we seen that they had pigs too. So we ended up buying our first pig, which we never got. I'll explain that in a second. So we went through that quarter of a cow really quickly. And later on, maybe six or eight months later, we ended up getting a half a cow. And that is a lot of meat too. But we are almost all the way through that. A few months ago, we found out that this processing place was going out of business. They sent out this big email and Facebook thing that they were closing. And we were on a wait list for the pig at the time. So we're like, okay, well, we're not going to get the pig. So we just kind of let it go. Well, a couple days ago, Ed calls me up and tells me, guess what? And I'm like, what? And the processing place where we got the cow called and they're back in business. And I'm like, what? And he said, yeah, we're getting a pig. And I'm like, what? Like, I wasn't ready for that. And I'm like, I thought they were closed. And he said, it was a whole thing with getting enough workers. There was, there was just, they didn't have enough employees. Well, now they have enough employees and they're back in business. So we're getting a pig. Uh, he said, I told the lady that I was gonna change it to half a pig instead of a whole pig, because in a couple of months, they're gonna have cows ready. They're gonna have black Angus cows ready. Came home, I was like, talking to him about it. And I said, maybe we should have just went ahead and got the whole pig because that's going to be ready in a couple of weeks. And the cow's not going to be here till like the end of summer, early fall. So a whole pig, you know, we, we should just go ahead and get the whole pig. And so Ed called them back the next day, yesterday, and told her that we decided that we wanted to get a whole pig. Was the whole pig still available? And she said, well, no, it's not. She said, that will be a few more weeks before you get a whole pig. So Ed went ahead and said, okay, we'll wait for the whole pig. So he comes home and he says, we're getting a whole pig, but it's going to be like a few more weeks, like a month before we get the pig. And I'm like, okay, that sounds fine. And then I got to thinking about it and I'm like, okay, we're getting a whole pig. And then in a couple of months, we're going to get a whole cow because Ed told her that he wanted to get a whole cow this time. And <laughs> I started freaking out yesterday because I was like, we don't have enough space for this. We got to start thinking about this. Wait a minute. We got to plan this. Here at this house, we have a little deep freeze and we have our regular side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. And then up north at the lake, we have a big deep freeze, which is almost empty. We have our refrigerator with the drawer freezer. Okay. And so I'm starting to panic because we might have to buy another freezer. I don't know what's going to happen. So long story short, I am on a mission to not buy any meat until this pig comes. I'm not going to purchase any meat from the store. I am on a mission to use all of the meat that we have in our freezers. We have meat in our freezers that have been in there for a while, you know, and it's like, oh, I don't want that. I want steak. I'll just go buy some fresh steaks. So my challenge is to discipline myself to not buy any more meat. I have to use whatever we have in our freezers. When we go up north, we have food in the freezers up there. We've got to use it up. We've got to use it up. I'm thinking that the cow would probably fit in our big deep freeze up north, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and some of the freezer in the house. I, I don't know how it's gonna work. I'm hoping that the two aren't too close together when they become available. So the pig is going to be 
brined. They're gonna smoke everything. It is supposed to be very, very, very amazing. It's from a, the pigs and the cows are from a local farmer right there by our place up north. And so it's gonna, it's all grass fed, it's local, it's gonna be awesome, but I'm in a panic because I might be in the market for another freezer. <laughs> But I'm going to try my hardest not to have to do that. I'm going to go through. So that is my challenge. I'm going to be cooking things from within my freezer. And I'm no longer going to buy any meat until this pig comes. So it's going to be really hard. But I'm going to do it. So I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. So I also want to talk to you about one more thing. I have so many thoughts today. But um, I am seriously thinking about doing a, I don't really want to call it a challenge. Um, I don't know what I would call it, but for the month of July, I am almost a hundred percent that I'm going to go ketovore for the month of July. Now ketovore is in between ketogenic and carnivore. And it's just lower carbs. So keto is usually staying around 20 carbs. Keto vor is like 10 carbs. Okay. And then carnivore is like zero carbs. So I am really thinking about doing this. I guess I'm going to call it a challenge. I really don't know what else to call it. The one reason why I'm debating and having such a hard time deciding, um, if I want to do it or not in July, it's because July is like a summer month and it's like you want to grill veggies, you want to have salads, um, you know, that kind of thing. I just really want to try it. A lot of days my carbs are right around 10 a day, but I don't like force myself to be under 10 a day. Let me know down in the comments if you are ketovore and if you stay around 10 carbs a day. And I think I'm going to try it for the month of July. Haven't decided 100% yet, but um, I'm hanging on the other side of the fence. I'm about ready to do it. So I'll see you in a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how I make meatloaf. I actually have a page from my cookbook that I'm going to show you. Here's the recipe for the meatloaf. If you want to pause it, you can have it right there. It's a freebie. Everybody in our Facebook group has been printing out my cookbook. It's an ebook. It's a digital book. You have to download it, have it on your device, but everybody's been printing it out. So I thought, well, I might as well print out my own cookbook, right? And have some copy, have a copy of it. So right here is how I make my meatloaf. I am going to, I forgot to get the hamburger, the most important part. Hold on. Okay, so I have two pounds of hamburger here. This is 80-20. We like to have the fatty hamburger. My oven has just preheated to 375 degrees. Actually, I think it might beep again in a minute. It's almost to 375 degrees. So I'm gonna put two pounds of ground beef in this bowl. I already have a half a cup of diced onion in this bowl. I already cut it up in advance. out of this package. I haven't had my walk yet. I'm gonna get my meatloaf in the oven and then I am gonna go out for my walk while the meatloaf is baking in the oven and should be done pretty much by the time I get back. So two pounds of ground beef, one cup of Parmesan cheese grated, and then you're going to have one cup of crushed pork rinds. I took this bag and really crushed it up. This is an Aldi bag of pork rinds. So you're going to put in one cup of crushed pork rinds and two eggs. These are farm fresh eggs that Ed brought home. Look at that. It's so cute. Nice orange yolk. Okay. And then you're going to put in um, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's see here. All right. And a little salt. About a teaspoon of salt. We like it salty over here. 
and some pepper. Okay. And then you're just gonna mix this all up. I have, my hands are clean, and I'm just gonna mix this all up. Kinda hard doing this to the side of the camera, but we're getting it done. I'm gonna put this in the loaf pan and get it shaped into a loaf, meat loaf, get it? All right. Okay, I have some bacon here that I've already had just opened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this up. You're gonna put bacon across the top. I'm gonna cut this in half. And lay these slices of bacon all along the top of the meatloaf. And then I'm gonna get this in the oven and it's gonna bake for about 40 to 45 minutes. And as soon as I get back from my walk, I'll pull it out of the oven and show you what it looks like. The bacon gets brown and drips grease all down into the burger and it gives it such amazing flavor. Super easy to make. Today it's kind of cool out for June. It's a cooler day, so this is a nice day to turn the oven on. It's not gonna be too hot to bake it. I have two, two more pieces here, so we're just gonna put them somewhere. All right, this is gonna go in the oven. I'll show you what it looks like when I get back from my walk. I'll see you then. So we are out for our walk. It is a gorgeous day. The humidity is low, there's a breeze, it's nice and warm, the sun's shining, and everything is just in bloom. It's just beautiful. So I'm gonna enjoy this walk, and I'll see you when I get back. Girl, Spyra loves her walks too, right, girly? Yep, yeah. come on, let's go. <laughs> Cutie. So we just got back from our walk. We walked for about 30 minutes and the meatloaf is not done yet. It needs maybe 15, 20 more minutes. I like to, the last five minutes or so, turn the broiler on and crisp up the bacon a little bit. So it's got a little ways to go yet, but I wish you could smell the inside of my house right now. It smells so good. The meatloaf, the spices, the onions, the bacon, it just smells amazing. So I just made a cup of um, Element. I'm drinking the grapefruit salt right now, and I'm just waiting for dinner to be done. And when it is, I'll be back. Okay, so it is, it is 10 after five, having some delicious meatloaf. Ed's here with me too, so I get to have someone to have dinner with tonight. Get you some meatloaf. You live here. <laughs> I know, but you've been working late. Bacon on top, Caesar salad. Caesar salad goes great with everything. So. So happy. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now so we can just relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night and God bless. How do you? Okay, this is my take one. I don't know how this lighting is. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm, I guess that's it, right? Okay. I also want to talk to you about one more thing. And today is day, what is the date today? I don't even know what today's date is. Um, what is today? 
Today's Wednesday, June 14th. recording. <laughs> Didn't know I was recording that whole time. Okay. <clears throat> hi, welcome to my low. Hi, welcome. To hi, welcome to my. No, let's not say that. Hi, every 